Welcome to this brand new wellness hut about three hours outside of New York City. We are at June Farms today and they just launched four of these units a couple of weeks ago. They have really taken the amenities to an entirely new level. They have a private sauna, as you can see behind me, an outdoor shower and a soaking tub. But instead of just having your normal hot bath, you can actually do a cold plunge. I know cold plunges aren't for everyone. Personally, I'm a huge fan. I try to do them every single week when I'm at my home gym. But if you are a health and wellness or spa junkie, this is definitely the spot that you should book. Now for the actual home itself, it looks like a bunker. So definitely very unique. We have not toured anything like this before and the interior is very black, very modern. It's my favorite type of interior design. Not to mention, we are on an actual farm. They have a couple of other properties, some animals, and some other activities that we're going to go and see in this video. So you guys are in for a real treat. I'm a huge fan of this spot. So without further ado, let's now go and start the full tour. Let's go and check out one of these brand new wellness huts. Here are a few different bird's eye view and drone shots to give you a better idea as to the exact location of these four different units. And you'll see some of their brand new landscaping. The grass is as green as could be. And these units were just launched again a few months ago on their website and Airbnb. They are brand new. And I love just the exterior design and layouts, again, with that kind of hut or bunker style that we've never seen before on the channel. But let's now go and check out bunker number one over here, which is the one that I stayed in. Welcome to bunker number one. This one is slightly more secluded from the three other units, and you have your own private driveway. Here is the outdoor deck. There are some fall decorations, a small table, and two chairs. But we'll now go over here and you even have your own private fire pits. There are three chairs and you're looking out straight into the woods. It's a really nice add-on. But that's it for the first part of the exterior tour. We are still going to go and see the rest of the farm later, so don't go anywhere. But for the time being, I'm going to walk up those stairs and we'll approach the front deck again. You have these massive doors which make up the main entrance. So I'll open them up and let's now go inside. When you first enter, you'll see the kitchen and dining area over on the left, and the right has your bed. This is a king mattress. I also love the pig feed pillowcase. I thought it was very fitting to the location. You then have a bunch of plants all around, some nightstands and lighting fixtures on either end of the bed, and that far right corner has a smart TV and some more plants. Overall, I loved the darker modern interior design. This other wall then has a sitting area and a mirror with some picture frames, but before we go to the kitchen, I'll now take a quick break. I want to give a quick shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. I travel constantly and need a hands-free experience. So I'm always listening to the latest audiobooks and podcasts from Audible while driving to my next Airbnb. They have a massive growing selection of options ranging from thrillers to wellness and business audiobooks. Right now, I'm listening to the title 100 Million Offers by Alex Hermosi because I'll soon be launching some new products for my Airbnb marketing agency. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days. Just go down to this link in the video description or send a text here. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring and let's now go back to the video. Let's now go into the kitchen next. Before we go much further, they did leave behind some nice welcome gifts, including some June Farms branded insect repellent. There's also a nice welcome card and even a bottle of wine from the 14 Hands Winery. 
Moving along, we'll go back to the kitchen countertop, which also doubles as your dining space. You have these three nice golden chairs, which you can pull up right to the counter for whenever you want to have some of your meals. If you look along to the other wall, then closest to the windows, you have all of your coffee and tea supplies and your glasses. These are also fresh flowers, which is a really nice touch. And then you have your microwave and fridge over here. One of the best parts though, of course, is the soaking tub slash cold plunge area. Over there on the left, you'll see some bath salts. And then there's this tray, which goes across the tub. You have some bath bombs, a book and candles. And this wall has some very farm themed photos and decorations, but this is definitely a very special space. But I'll now open up these doors and continue on. This leads into the bathroom. You'll first notice the very high-end double bathroom sink setup. I love the white countertops and the gold-colored faucets. You also have some June Farms branded soap options as well, and it's a very open floor plan concept. I love that photo with the pig in the bath. You'll find your toilet there in one end, and next to the toilet is then your shower. All of your shampoo, conditioner, and bath soap is seen there on the floor. There's even that big mirror and some plants for some added decoration. But that's it for everything, mostly in the interior. So I'm now going to walk over to this door next to the toilet and open it up. And we'll go now to the backyard. The backyard has another outdoor deck with a barrel sauna. And there's also your outdoor shower. And just, man, look at that water pressure. You have the sun beginning to set there in the background behind the sauna. And then this is what the interior of the sauna looks like. You can definitely fit up to two people inside, I would say. We have finished our tour of the wellness huts, but there is still a lot more to see here on the farm, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this place is more than just the four wellness huts. It's also a farm. So we're gonna go and explore a bit more now. And they decided to give me a complimentary golf cart right here. I golfed for the first like legit time in my life just two months ago. And these things are so much fun to drive. So they may regret giving me this. <laughs> Let's go and explore. Oh my goodness. I'm so gonna crash this. We are backing out right now. <laughs> Come on, sucker. This thing. Oh, sure. Forward. Oh, let's go, baby. Woo! Woo! I kind of want to go golfing again now. I'm just driving down the street. <laughs> Okay, so we've come to the first fork in the road. I flew my drone here yesterday, so I think I'm gonna go left, because I believe I saw some animals down this way. So let's hang a left. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Okay, I have parked the vehicle. I spotted some event space, the restaurant, and some animals, I think. So let's go and check it out. First up, you have this small red barn, which I believe contains some bathrooms for weddings or events. There is a vintage Ford truck, and you may have spotted a large white tent from those earlier drone shots. Well, here is the interior. You can definitely fit a couple hundred people inside for an event. There are then a bunch of other signs, and we'll begin to walk towards this large red building. I loved all the fall decorations and flowers throughout. This was my favorite sign personally. If you go in a little further, you'll see this tall flower wall that says at June Farms. It's perfect for a photo op. Let's now go inside their main building, which contains the restaurants. This spot looks absolutely gorgeous. Just be sure to do your research ahead of time because it is often booked for private events or parties. But they have both interior and exterior seating options. Outside here, there's even more tables and it feels like you are in a garden. So I didn't have the chance to dine here, but I would definitely love to come back just for dinner. The farm does have a playground for the kids. And then you can take out either a golf cart or just walk around to go and view the different animals. Everything is very well labeled. It feels almost like a zoo. You can check out some of the pigs. There are horses and there was even a large family of goats, which were super cute. But let's now go back to the wellness hut. It's cold plunge time, baby. <laughs> let's go.
Okay, so normally when I do this, I play a little bit of music, you know, a little Rufus de Soul, some Lil Wayne. Just kidding, I, I literally never listen to Lil Wayne or, or, or rap like ever. So I'm gonna play that now, but I can't play the music for you guys because then I'll get copyright claimed and this video will get demonetized. So maybe I'll just hum a little bit or, or my editor, um, Zach, slap some music on top of this. <laughs> Okay, update, my camera keeps dying. So I've been in here for like 15 minutes. You're not usually supposed to do more than 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna do the full plunge. So let's go for it. Here is the hat hair, ladies and gentlemen. You asked for it. Let's do it. <laughs> I had so much water just go down my nose. <laughs> I'm a bit too tall for this tub, but that was still a lot of fun. I love cold plunges. Do a cold plunge. Do a cold plunge, all of you. All right, we're, we're, we're done, we're done. I am so impressed by this property. It was a ton of fun taking the golf cart out and seeing the animals. Their restaurant in particular is incredibly gorgeous. I definitely wanna come back and have dinner here at one point. And every staff member that I met was very, very friendly. A special shout out to Michelle. So thanks for watching guys. Check out all the links down in the video description for more info. And I will see you very soon for another Airbnb tour.